buckets of rain falling across many cities and towns. Metro West may have taken the brunt of Elsa's fury. With the ground already saturated, that water has to go somewhere, and it's been seeping into the basements of homeowners. WBZ's Julia McDonald has that story tonight from Canton. Well, isn't that what they say about New England weather? Just wait a few hours. Turned out to be a beautiful Friday evening, but there's still plenty of ugly, expensive mess to clean up. By Friday night, Elsa's torrential rain had been over for hours, but all that water still has to go somewhere. Especially here with the way that the ground is, it's been causing a lot of issues over here. Jordan's ship has been bouncing back and forth between wet Canton homes all day. With supply prices soaring because of the pandemic, some of his bigger repair projects are going to be even more expensive. Even if you got the majority of the, the water that's pooling, you know what I mean, it's still soaked into to wood and all sorts of other stuff and can create a lot of problems, especially in mass with these older homes. Earlier in the day in nearby Norwood, neighbors brought buckets and manpower to this flooding home about to go on the market. Further west in Worcester, buckets also came in handy at this flooded parking lot. The driver found his van in thigh high water. When I saw my car, I was like, oh my God. On 146 in Millbury, tractor trailers came to a crawl rolling through this river. Beside them, crews worked quickly to clear the drains. And major backups on Route 9 in Framingham. Pandemonium. Traffic everywhere and cars just trying to um, gamble going through. Two to three feet of water trapped drivers in their cars. Even tow trucks had to wait to help. Mother Nature, no. I'll never be surprised. And back here in Canton, they saw more than three inches of rain throughout the storm. Of course, that can translate into a much deeper problem, depending exactly where you live. Julie McDonald, WBZ News. All right, Julie.